Hello and welcome guys, welcome to the channel again. It's your boy, Jimmy out of Brooklyn, Slim Jim Jim. We made it. We're, we're here. It, 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 I never thought it would happen. You never thought it would happen. But here we are. We've arrived. There's lights now. I'm, in, I'm bathed in beautiful lights. I'm not standing next to the window anymore. There's a, a microphone on my neck. Lavalier. I'm classy, like documentarian filmmaker, you know. You can see my beautiful apartment here. Look at all this. I got toys over here behind me. This is a plant unnamed at the current juncture. Put plant names in the comments below. If you do any here, any goo gooing and gagaing in the background, it's a baby. I got a baby. A baby. Un niño pequeñito. Es eso smallito. Again, if you guys are fans of the channel, I'd like to welcome you back here. If this is your very first time arriving, then this may, might make no sense to you. But I was gone for a long time. There was a hiatus, a hiatus of sorts. We was gone and now we're back. And to your delight, my beard and hair is, is that much longer. And now I have a child. It's like the best kind of time jump. You couldn't have a better time jump than that, right? Unless I came out totally rich. But why would I be here then, right? Work, work. You may have wondered, how did all this happen? How did all this come to be? Well, first, um, two people fall in love. Then a stork comes from yonder window break, leaves a baby on your doorstep. You leave the stork a tip because he works in the service industry. And bada bing, bada boom, you have a child. Pretty crazy stuff. Not gonna lie. Basically, the deal was my partner was pregnant, was doing videos. It was all good. It was good, good gravy, you know. Started streaming a bit. The hours were very long. I wasn't really, you know, making much scratch. We decided to stop that, focus on all these new responsibilities and things like that. So I was not around, but we're back now. If anyone was wondering, we did end up having a home birth for our child. Hombino. Homborino. When I say a home birth, we had planned this ahead of time. You know, it was coronavirus, the pandemic. But really on top of that, there were a lot of reasons that pushed us away from hospital birth in the first place. You know, like many people nowadays, we use a lot of Google and a lot of YouTube to answer our questions. So you wish you had elders in your community and wise and sages, but for the most part now, we're forced, coerced into um, a couple of different uh, channels, literally avenues to get what you need. Uh -huh. Through some research that we had done, we found out, just like many things in this country, you know, this is America. Childish Gambino said. America Vespucci said, maybe. Merigo. Americo. Ah, Merico. Sounds like uh, he's selling gasoline. Basically, what we'd heard is, you know, like many different enterprises in this country, hospitals are now, you know, for-profit entities in the very same way that health insurance companies don't so, so much care about you getting better as to do about high premiums and, 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 you know, getting the cash, getting the money out of you, sucking you dry like a straw, like, you know, I drink your milkshake. <laughs> like this, you know, sort of situation. So we'd heard and had confirmed now from other birthing friends, parent friends of ours, you know, it's a baby factory over there. When you go into the hospital, you have about a 24 hour window to which you get in uh, and they want you to have that child. They don't want you to be there any longer. Now, 
every single mother is different and every birthing person is going to have a different experience and every person's body is going to be different. No one knows today. No doctor can say how long a person's labor will be uh, or when the baby will come. It's all done in estimates and they do it based upon the averages that they have. So for that reason, we wanted to be, you know, as safe as possible for the future of our family, for my partner's health, as pleasant an experience for everyone, especially for our child coming into this world. Who wants to come in blaring with lights? And people come and slapping you on the butt. I don't know if they slap you on the butt anymore, but you know, it's like the child coming out and he's like in the middle of a YouTube video, you know, with the way the, the hospital is lit. So we were thinking it could be nice get it, you know, have the birth in our, in our apartment, get it chilled out, relax, put on a little music, little, little lo-fi hip hop, you know what I'm talking about, you know, we, we were just hanging out, eat Thai food, all actual things that happened at our birth, our birth. What did I do? My partner's labor was protracted, protractor. My partner's labor was a 90 degree angle. Her labor was extended. It was long bow. It happened not quick. She had pre-labor for like a week. And then she had like half labor for like a few more days, the active labor ended up being about, about eight hours. Based upon the closeness of her contractions, you know, it was our first child, so, you know, she didn't really know what was going on exactly with her body and that sort of thing. So uh, the way we were trying to gauge, if we had to go to the hospital, we would have been there early. And again, what happens to you at the end of this 24 hour time period that they give you at the hospital? Give you a C-section to all of the mothers and things and people who have, have had to go through the system and have that happen. It was just not for us, was the idea. You know, we ended up getting in touch with a local midwife. I'll link below in the description. If you want to check her stuff out. She was awesome. Her and her assistant basically would come here to our apartment periodically at the start of the pregnancy. They came, you know, every month. And then after that, they were coming bi-weekly and then weekly and, you know, doing blood tests and but not just that, like coming and checking up on us, seeing how we were, how we were dealing with the pregnancy, how we're dealing with the prospect of being parents, you know, our emotional state as well as our health. And I say our health because they were, they were asking about me too. You know, obviously I'm, more, I've been more the helper as you, as you are, as the not, as the not birthing person in the parental situation, but it was really personalized care and it was something that you really can't put a price on, but our uh, insurance did cover it, and it ended up being, you know, much cheaper than it would have been at a hospital. Probably around half to a third of the price of what a hospital stay would have been for birth without complications. My partner as well did not want to use drugs or be induced chemically. It was the idea. Didn't want to have a, uh, a C-section, but in addition, she did not want to get a um, epidural. Yeah, for any other fathers out there that are not exactly savvy on what an epidural actually is, the epidural is a needle that they put into the spine of your partner. There is a, uh, like a tube that then goes and hooks up to that needle and they pump juices into her spine to, to numb. To numb, numbing, numbing juices. Num, 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 numbing juices. That's the scientific term. Now my partner did, we used a birthing pool in the apartment. She had the opportunity to push the, the, the baby out, which she described as like taking a massive dump, human dump, as it were. And my baby the dump. And I actually got to catch the child, my kid, which is pretty magical. They are, they're sleeping just off camera. Over there, where they're awake or just off camera, but naked, as nature intended. You know what I'm saying? Forget about it. No diaper. No. <laughs> they're diaped. Don't worry. They're diaped out. They're diaped out. 
diaped. It was uh, quite magical. Immediately afterwards, I had a panic attack after the baby was born, you know. Um, but hey, I'm a parent now. Responsible now. Now I answer the phone when it rings. Now, check the mail. Now, gotta feed a family. I can barely feed me, let alone a family. Can't, I can't feed me, me, mealy. That's not a thing. But here we are. Uh, thoughts and impressions so far on fatherhood. When I walk down the street with my kid, all I can think is how I'm gonna have to fight to the death. Like Spock in Star Trek. Like, you know, someone's gonna throw us some ridiculous weapons. So my heart races all the time when I'm outside now. It's like, don't mess with me, Captain, don't mess. You don't want this uh, noise. You don't want to get shaked up, eh? But it's been good. The kid is lovely. You clean a lot of poops, you get peed on a lot. But you don't, you don't think about it, you don't worry about it. Because every so often the kid looks at you and smiles and then squeezes your little finger. And then they like coo and giggle. It's hard to describe why it is so nice, but it's friggin' magic, guy. I'm telling you, friggin' magical. Make sure that you guys like, subscribe, leave a comment. If you got any questions about home birth or being a new dad in Brooklyn, let me know. Hit that bell, press that little tiny bell. You'll get notifications. It's gonna tell you when I got a new video coming out. Cause we're back, baby. So we got videos now. Are they gonna be every week? We'll try. We'll make an honest attempt but I can't make any guarantees. I'm super tired now. That's the thing with the baby. You never sleep. He is always awake. Oh, you, now you, you become like a, like a vampire in twilight. You walk outside, your skin is sparkling. It's good times, you know, you feel good. Again, I wanna thank you so much guys for sticking around with me through the time I was gone. You guys are awesome. We're bringing you a lot of great new content. There's going to be some good stuff around the corner, my guy. You ain't going to want to miss it. Stick around. Back a clacker. I don't know if I'm in focus. I would like to know, cause.